Keith? I'm um, doing good, man. Thanks. Uh, Sean, I was just wondering if you could tell me who you think is the most uh, difficult fight for Terrence before you step in the ring with him and why? Um, I think that the, the fight with Jose Benavidez might, may have been one of the more uh, difficult fights for him. The one he had most recently with uh, Mean, mean Machine, I, 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 I'm really just trying to read into that one. I'm not sure if it was um, Terrence's mental approach that that uh, left him um, kind of losing a few rounds in that fight and getting put down in that fight. But uh, I don't think that Terrence has been in the ring with um, uh, enough of that type of uh, quality that can 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 um, push him to to some limits. I've been pushed to the limits multiple times, and I've answered. Uh, every single time. So uh, I think that I've had the experiences required to get the job done uh, and be that first guy to do it against Terrence Crawford. What, what was it about the Benavidez fight, Sean, do you, do you think that made it difficult for Terrence? It was funny, man. Like, watching that fight, I could see that Terrence Crawford was, like, just ahead of Jose Benavidez uh, in, in every aspect of the fight. But you could see that Jose had – boxing ability he had speed and he had quickness and he had some small nuances that weren't necessarily giving Terrence problems but it was challenging Terrence and I don't think anyone's really challenged Terrence the way that Jose Benavidez was able to again I speak of to that mach that mean machine fight I don't think that uh Terrence was necessarily there the way he was against Jose Benavidez and I think that even though I don't think Jose won very many rounds. I don't remember Jose maybe two or three rounds through through the course of going into that twelfth when he got knocked out. But I just felt like he was just behind Terrence in uh in every aspect of that fight. And so when I look at that fight, I say, you know what? Uh, I know that I've got everything that Jose's got, and I got a little bit more. And so you know when you when you turn it on and you you make those those that that small little difference there, you know you 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 turn in you win in you win in rounds. And, uh, you know, I think that for major a lot of this fight, it may be about winning rounds and then ultimately trying to hurt Terrence and put him into some vulnerable positions. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Dan, Dan Rayfield. Thanks a lot. Hello, Sean. Dan Rayfield here. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Looking forward to seeing you next week. Um, my, my question for you is, you know, you and uh, Keith were just discussing sort of the, the level and the merit of uh, the, the competition that Terrence has faced. How do you feel about uh, the fact that there are so many people, whether it's media or fans, that are excited for this fight? Because part of the reason, because they finally see Crawford be the one to step up and fight what people consider to be an elite welterweight, such as yourself. You've already done that numerous times in your career. But what, what can you talk about as far as, the fact that it's Crawford finally getting the chance, it happens to be against you, to take on an A-level welterweight. I, I'll be completely honest and, and candid with you, Dan. I, I had a conversation with someone. I won't tell you who it was, but uh, they were saying, you need to go get that fight with Terrence. And I said, I don't want to be the first guy that he fights uh, who people consider to be elite. And the reason why is because um, the worst is more than likely going to happen to him, and then everyone's going to look at him like he he's not who he is. Terrence Crawford is an elite boxer. He's a great boxer, and I think that uh, you know you you don't want that first showing to be against one of the best elite boxers in the world, and it just happens to be the case with this fight. So, you know, I think that while everyone's like, all right, we finally get to see him against uh, one of the best, uh, they they're not going to get what they're used to seeing out of Terrence Crawford. All right. So you are supposed to be the big step up for him at welterweight, but you have faced, you know, guys, you know, at the top already, whether it was Spencer Garcia, Thurman, you know, even in your losses, they were super close. What are you going to bring different to show him uh, that it is different levels in the welterweight division? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I am uh, different. Uh, you know, you, you take a look at any of my fights, literally, and you'll see the combination of uh, and the versatility that I have. And he's he has not been in the ring with that. And I don't think any of the other guys in, in the division, the elite guys that I've been in the ring with, they hadn't seen anything like me before and they never will. You know, I am I, I'm one of a kind. And, uh, you know, with that being said, you say, hey, 
what makes you what 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 why are you the guy who, to beat Terrence Crawford? No one else has. Well, I am rare. And when you're rare and people uh, who aren't used to seeing what you have and can present, uh, you it's hard to adjust to on fight night, you know? So uh, I think that uh, my experiences on top of my skills and everything that I, I have uh, makes me um, the guy. All right, very good. Thank you very much for that, Sean. You got it. Good to hear from you, Dan. Uh, T.C. Martin, you're next. Uh, please uh, go on when ready, sir. Cool. Hey, Sean. T.C. Uh, hey, we know that you are always uh, brimming with confidence. Um, what do you see in Terrence that that really, uh, you know, makes you confident that you're going to go in here and win this fight? I really I, – I, I'm going to say this, and I don't think it's even going to make a difference, but he, he's got this rhythm about himself. And he's got, of course, a confidence about himself as well. And that's kind of like where I live. Like I live in disrupting your rhythm. I live in figuring out what makes you uncomfortable. And I don't, I just, you know, it's, it, again, it's hard to adjust to on fight night, you know? So when I'm, when I, when I look and I see the way he likes to move and I start to, to, to not allow him to move that way, and disrupt things, you know, uh, he, he's someone who he's, he's an emotional fighter. He's going to get uncomfortable and it's going to start to fester uh, em mentally and emotionally, and it's going to show up in the fight. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, talk about fighting in Vegas. I mean, you lived here a long time. You've been yeah. wanting to fight here for a long, long time. We've talked yeah. about it so many times, but just talk about finally getting that opportunity to, uh, to fight basically in your, your second hometown here. I tell you what, I'm glad I'm not fighting in front of that green screen. I'm glad that I'm actually <laughs> fighting in Las Vegas. Uh, it, you know, moving here, we wanted to live here, train here, fight here. And we have not been able to do that, man. For this to be the big fight that it is and for us to, to be doing it right here at home, it's, uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, every fighter wants to be in Vegas. And, um, you know, even though I have, have very, haven't had very many opportunities to fight here at home, I consider this... For, for the magnitude of this fight and where it's happening, is it's perfect for me. And I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks, TC. Uh, Ernesto Amador. Ernesto. Thank you. The question is not only for Sean Potter, but for Bob Adam as well. Uh, 2021, it was great. It doesn't matter about the COVID. We, we had a great fight. And of course, top rank is the leader of this kind of event. So, Bob and Sean, you can tell that this fight will still the 2021 year, like a fight of the year, and why is that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, let me uh, give a hand clap to Top Rank for being able to figure out how to move through the pandemic. They kept boxing going through the pandemic, and in my personal opinion, I feel that it's, it's almost like the previews of, of a movie until the the big movie and this is the movie that everybody wants to see um the the i think that when you take a look at everything that myself and terence crawford possess uh and who we are and what we've been to the sport of boxing that you know that there's not going to be any letdown in this fight and i think that that's why this fight is and will be uh the fight of the year